Hey what's up guys, today we're gonna learn how to make a jumping state for a little state machine. It's gonna be fairly simple and fast, so just tag along with me. And as always, let's get started. Alright, so we'll start by going inside the base motor. And in there we're gonna declare some stuff such as the jump force at which we are going to, um, well, jump from. So let's go ahead and do that right now, just below base gravity. I'm going to go ahead and declare a private float that I'm going to call base jump force. For now, I'll set it at seven or so, but you know, you can always modify this by whatever fits your liking. And uh, as I do is um, I usually create a property below that that I'm going to call jump force. And we're going to say get return base jump force. Then <laughs> that's pretty much all the fields we need in this um, this video pretty much. So let's go ahead and create ourselves a new state now. We are going to right click on our state folder, create C sharp script, and this is going to be the jumping state. Let's open that. And since we've pretty much wrote everything in the last episode, the following state, this one is going to be fairly simple. So up here, let's change the uh, inheritance for base state. And we're going to go ahead and override what we have to. So public override, start with construct. So we're going to override the construct in this one. We leave base construct so we have a reference to our mutter. And just below that we say mutter dot vertical velocity is equal to mutter dot jump force. So right off the start, whenever we enter the jumping, uh, jumping state, we give ourselves a uh, positive vertical velocity. So next frame we are uh, calculated as going up, pretty much. And just below that we're going to go override the process motion function already. And just um, in there we are going to start, like we always do, we're going to start with apply speed, given reference our input vector, and then after that we say mutter.speed, speed, and then apply gravity. So this is pretty much the same exact thing as the falling state. So gravity, and we simply return the input vector. Um, so as for now, like the only difference we have with the uh, falling state is that we assign something in the construct. This is the key to making a jumping state. But we also have another difference that's coming right now. Actually, it's in the public override. Oh, not destruct, public override, and then we are going to override the transition. So in our falling state, we can go from falling to walking if we are grounded. But in the jumping state, we don't have really, we don't really have a chance to be grounded. And um, first, before going from jumping, well, in order to go from jumping to walking state, we have to go through something else. We have to go through falling. So we got to start by jumping, then falling, and then we are on the ground. So, we are not going to write um, this line of code here, actually. What we're going to say is if motor.vertical velocity, so if our velocity in y is a smaller than zero, we're actually falling. So, motor.change state, and we change this to falling state first. And then, if we're close to the ground, then falling is going to snap us to a walking state. Okay, that's, that's pretty much all we needed for this. Um, falling state, or I mean jumping state. Let's press play and go check it out in game. So here I am. Oh, actually, wait, we have no way to go inside the jumping state just yet. So let's go back in our code. And now we don't want to be um, going from falling to jumping. We don't want to be going from jumping to jumping because that wouldn't make sense unless we have a double jump, of course. And then the only place we can start now is with the falling state and of course a little bit later on we probably had some more uh, if we had let's say a crouch state then we might want to be able to go from crouch to jumping but for now the only one we have is walking state so just below the grounded check here we're going to say if input dot get button and if we get the jump button which by default is assigned to the spacebar then we're going to say motor dot change state for a jumping state. 
just like this. Alright, press play. Spacebar, and as you can see, we jump. Alright guys, well this was pretty much it for this jumping state video. If this was helpful to you, please leave it a like. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. And also subscribe for more of these little tutorial videos. As always, I'll see you in the next episode.